We need to talk about the role of social media in contracting freelance trainers because that's something that's really growing. Now, Jackie, you and I are big users of social media. Mm. So can you tell me, when you book a freelance trainer, what expectations do you have about them in terms of social media? That they, um, the success of the course running is important for all parties concerned. And social media is such a big part of marketing these days that my expectation is for a trainer to actually to be active and in promoting um, courses that they're taking um, on our behalf through through using Twitter, Facebook, whatever means they feel comfortable with doing. Have you thought about putting that into your booking form as I want you to tweet a minimum of three times a week on this account or to put up? Yes. Yeah. Because obviously expectations are not the same as an agreement, no. are they? No. And one of the problems a lot of people these days runs into is social media savvy people expect people automatically to do certain things mm. and they don't. Mm. Around the other way, not that you've had this problem, you might want to consider restricting them from saying nasty things about you in social media. Oh yes. <laughs> there have been some famous cases recently of freelancers slagging off their contracted crime yeah. in social media and perhaps that's something you would want to look at contractually. Yes, I um, think that we'll need to cover that most definitely. Because even if you can't stop them, the fact you've gone through the contract and gone, this is what we expect, mm. at least highlights mm. that some thinking needs to be done. Mm. No, very much. Absolutely. Mm. So if you're using people who are on social media, think about it.